My name is Khairi. I have 24 years old. Uh, I was born here. I grew up here uh, in this area. Before it wasn't called Jarba Hood. Before it's Al Hara Zghira. We were like living Jewish and Muslim people all together. So that's why we called it Hara. Hara it's where two religions live together. And now it's called Jarba Hood because of the event we had. It's uh, Jarba Hood, it's street art event was made by Mehdi Bishikh, the founder. When he started this event, he didn't tell everyone, like he, he started in, uh, in secret. He bring international artists during Ramadan and he start painting in the night. Like this, no one saw him to know if he continued the event or the people here, they will reject the event. So he start like this. The, we start searching by night, like uh, where is the artist, who is doing this, because we find the art paint uh, in the morning. We said, who did this? But in the same time, we did like it. So we searched for the artist in the night. We find the artist, we find a lot of them, like uh, four or five artists in, in five s different streets. And we start like uh, talking with them. We became friends and the founder of the event, he saw that we didn't reject the, his event and his idea. So he said, let's make it big and let's announce this for everyone. So he said, like, he present himself to everyone here. He said, like, his name and what he do. So he said, I want to make an open museum. In the beginning, they choose three, four houses where there is no person live inside. He start asking people. Everyone he accept to paint on his wall. He just paint, he bring an artist, like uh, there is a hundred of artists at the same time during the day. And there is local people who help them, give them food and everything. We didn't have uh, issue or problem with them, only when the founder he chose to like paint face of some person, people, they leave it here. So just some families they said no we don't want our family to be painted but some of them they accept we don't have a problem with them the most of the time they show what they are going to do before it was a competition in the whole world and the founder he participated in that competition and we had the first uh, place so it's financed by the government Indonesian government and by the founder and a lot of uh, partners so the the artists they get paid the most of them and the second edition was 2018 yeah, 20, 20, yeah this edition they didn't only make uh, paint they make the, the facade of all the markets what you saw like in blue and right in white it's artwork of Jerba Hood. it's not the owner who do it they start to also like add something like a jar i don't know if you know it it's the big uh, pottery and they add uh, like uh, some of artwork are made by metal yeah so they think about the lifetime of the artwork so now i think the next edition it will be this year and I think they will do a lot of other things are made by materials which stay alive more than the paint. 90% of the damage are by the time, like 10% there is, you know, small children and they draw on it or... Before, in the first edition they used uh, a paper, they, they draw on a paper and they call it. So small children, they take it off from the wall. Before the event, this hood, this village, we were only Jewish and some Christian people and Muslim people. So we were three li religion living together, but we share the same tradition. Like we are close, we were conservative and everything. We don't see like a lot of tourists. Like what I remember, I see two tourists per year, like walking in the street. The tourists, they come by bus directly to the synagogue of Jewish people and they come back to their hotel. They don't come back and visit the area here. So. After the event, in like uh, six months, we were showing like a uh, hundred of people like in the streets and sometimes you need to push people to like walk in the street, like really you need to push people. Uh, we were pushing uh, ourselves to like cross the street and uh, for some people in the village it was okay, for other people like shocked. But yeah, now we are dealing with it, we are happy. No, when uh, in the summer, the number of tourists are the double of uh, the people who live here. And more and more, we have more guest houses. So in the summer, we have visitors 
who came here just to visit the, the area because it's an uh, open museum and we have the half of uh, all the people who live here during the summer are just tourists because they rent uh, guest houses. Here we live on island so if you want uh, by law we need to keep the traditional architecture and we need to paint in white and blue. Normally it's obligated by the law but we don't really respect it a lot but uh, now from like 10 years or more in Jorba Hood we started renovating our houses to make them guest houses in the traditional way to give the opportunity for the tourists they live and they taste local experience. Yeah, this hostel it's about six months we started. The idea comes from me, my girlfriend and my friend. Before we opened this hostel we were thinking about idea but wasn't clear if it's a hostel or other thing. We want to make something which we can promote uh, the traditional like because here in Jerba before there, there was a lot of uh, all-inclusive tourism yes. and this tourism they bring uh, the tourists just for the sea and for the hotel it doesn't make sense to bring people from far away to show them the resource I was in Egypt with my girlfriend so we start booking hostels and we saw that that's what we want to, to do when we come back we rent this house and now we are renovating another house uh, to make it uh, Hostel in traditional architecture. Hostel, it's the name of our hostel. We want to like make a hostel, but also we want to to provide and to give uh, the opportunity for digital nomads who like travel and work in same time. So they work online and they need like a fast connection and the area to work where the commendation is. So we tried to add a co-working space inside the hostel. And from this idea, we, we got the name like Dwork and Hostel. So it come wo Hostel. The W come from work. I'm not an artist, I'm a graphic designer. When I studied uh, graphic design, I studied art and the history of art. That's why I have a small knowledge about art.